Hi, it's Gloria with Cheap Yummy Shiny, and today I'm going to go over this month's Birch Box, May 2016's Birch Box. Um, I've been a Birch Box subscriber for many years. I can't even speak straight. And this month it is addressed to sophisticated Gloria Chapa. So it's probably going to be a sophisticated box. What do you think? Oh, use the scissors, Gloria. No, I refuse. No scissors. Ooh, pretty box. Very spring like. You can see it's very uh, pastel, shall we say? Let's open her up. What do we have? Let's take this party outside, shall we? Sounds a little threatening, but okay, cool. Uh, this month we're bringing you products and tips to keep you radiant on all of your El Fresco adventures, SPF, etc. All right then, let's open up the bright canary yellow tissue paper, see what's inside. Stay, stay. It's not going to stay. No. Okay. Let's start out with actually a brand that I happen to like quite a lot. Uh, this is the Kula Classic, Classic Face Sport SPF 50 White Tea. Um, and I have had the Sport. It does stay on a lot longer. It's definitely a heavier um, formulation. Like It's not something that you want to wear necessarily under makeup. I haven't smelled the White Tea. I currently have the Cucumber uh, SPF uh, moisturizer, facial moisturizer, which I like. The mango smells good too. It's just, to me, it's too sweet. And if I'm outside running or in the park or whatever, the last thing I want to do is smell sweet and attract all the bugs. Ooh, this smells pretty. It smells floral, like very light floral. Anyway, so the Kula Classic Sunscreen awesome this is this this is well it says oh yeah it's a sport i like kula it is definitely one of my favorite sunscreens so yay okay so then we go on to the next one we have what are we looking at hello oh, 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 oh we got a full size one in the box this month ladies full size Davro Ends Repair. This innovative leave-in treatment prevents split ends with rice and wheat proteins, leaving hair soft and silky. Soft and silky. It says it lubricates and seals the cuticle. Leave-in treatment reduces flyaways, helps prevent split ends, use on wet or dry hair. And uh, let's see, can I use this? Ah, uh, no. Well, yeah, uh, much as I thought, you know, whenever they send a full size hair product, I can't use it. I'm getting a little annoyed. Birchbox really needs to have in the questionnaire, uh, a question if you avoid silicone products for your hair products, because a lot of people do the curly girl method and they don't use a regular shampoo. If you use a cleansing conditioner, it's not taking out silicone products. This one is chock full of it. I am really disappointed. I was excited about being able to use it. It's got dimethicone, cyclomethicone. The PEG, PPG dimethicone, not a problem. It actually will wash out. I'll do a little research on it, but I'm pretty sure the cyclomethicone is not particularly water soluble. I think it's one of the bad boys that sticks around. See, everything else looks great. It's got sunflower seed extract, vitamin E, grape seed extract, olive leaf extract, hibiscus extract. It's chock full of really, really good things for your hair. It says it's petrochemical and paraben free. Well, that's important, but I can't use it. If you're doing it wrong, I'm gonna send them a note. A sternly worded note. Okay. Zen. Calm. Back to the makeup. Okay. Goldfaden MD Doctor's Scrub. That was my only full size in this whole thing. I'm kind of irritated still. Okay. 
So, uh, Dr. Scrub, Goldfaden, MD. Uh, beyond exfoliating, this multi-tax skin scrub hydrates and plumps with hyaluronic acid, protecting skin from free radicals. Well, it's a microderm exfoliator. It's a ruby, ruby crystal microderm exfoliator. So it's got rubies. It smells, it smells very mildly orangey, very mildly. Okay, that's nice. Then we have Juliet has a gun. I they have quirky fragrances. I, sometimes I like them and sometimes I don't. We'll find out what I think. This one's uh, another another wood, another wood, another wood. Evoking the grandeur of the Middle East, the scent combines deep woody notes with bergamot, raspberry, and musk. That sounds lovely. Probably not a very spring fragrance. It says it, the fragrance suggests an immersion into the oriental world, version 2.0. The main ingredients, bergamot, oud, oud wood, cashmere, raspberry, and musk. All right, well, let me meal. I don't know if I should put this on. I was going to go for a bike ride. Well, I can always alcohol it off, I suppose. Hmm. I may have been mistaken about not being appropriate for spring. As you would. The first notes right off the top are going to be the bergamot. A little bit of the sweetness of the raspberry, but then the wood just really kicks in. Okay, this is not a spring day fragrance. But you know what? It's got just enough of the wood in it so that it's, I won't even, I'm not going to say it's masculine because it's not masculine. But it's just reminiscent enough of a man's fragrance without smelling like a man's fragrance that you might actually be able to get away with wearing this at the office. It smells very sophisticated. And I think with the dry down, after you've had it on for a while, it would start smelling maybe a little sultrier, which would be, you know, actually okay to wear from day to night. It is a little heavy for spring, but it's actually not horribly heavy. It's not like spraying on obsession or opium or one of those really heavy 1980s popular fragrances that were definitely not appropriate for office or for day wear. So there we go. All right. Last one. Model Co. Lip Lacquer Morocco. Uh, yep. This is in the color Morocco. I keep getting colors like this. Again, I'm not complaining. It's nice but I have a million lip colors <clears throat> and they're all the same color. They're all this rose brown, which I like, but I don't go out much during the day anymore because I work. I mean, I get up at 2 a.m. to go to work, so I'm in bed by like, I mean, ideally I should be in bed at 6.30. It ain't happening. Um, so I'm usually in bed between 7.30 and 8.30, which is bad. Uh, uh, again, my makeup completely oxidized. I. I need to take my compressor in to go get fixed, so uh, I, I really miss the uh, temp to airbrush. It lasts without oxidizing at least a good 16 hours, at least, if you, you know, prime it and prep it right. Um, uh, right now I'm using the NYX matte but not flat, and although it, you know, it's okay, uh, I find it oxidizes fairly quickly. Uh, I was using this other Maybelline one. You know what? I'm going to do a thing on, on, on the different non, uh, airbrush foundations, just the ones that I've been, that I've tried and what I think about them. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, enough chitter chatter, enough jibber jabber. Let's put on lipstick, a lip gloss. Oh, this is a really light, you know, I, I need to start wearing this. This is the perfect throw on mascara, throw on some lip gloss. Cover up the obvious spots, a little bit of concealer, and you're good to go. In other words, this is a really nice color, and it smells good. Cherry-ish? Berry-ish? Anyway, ooh. Well, this is a nice color. It's almost a non-color, but it goes really well with my complexion. And I imagine even if you're very fair, it would be like a very lovely, neutral rose. This is, this is nice. 
Uh, it says it's long lasting gloss and it's a trio. It comes in three shades. So if you buy it, that's actually a good deal. But the full size trio is $16. All right. I do like lip glosses in the summer and the spring. It just doesn't feel right always to wear a heavy matte lipstick when it's really hot outside. And I know if you live in places like Texas or uh, Colorado or California or whatever, you're going to drive everywhere. Well, here in the Northeast, much like um, other walking cities uh, around the country, you walk everywhere, even if it's summer. And so you sweat and your makeup mel melts. So um, lip gloss lighter the better when it's really hot outside and it gets very humid here too so you really don't want to wear heavy makeup anyway so um this is let me go ahead and rearrange it so you can see what i'm talking about along with my extreme disappointment extreme have i told you have i made it as clear as i could how unhappy i am that they sent a full-size product yet again that I can't use and I get excited about the full size oops and I get excited about the full size products frankly I really do um, but I keep getting full size products of hair things that I can't use um, you know what I might end up doing a giveaway of some things um, at some point um, you know I, I don't have a lot of subscribers so maybe if I can get a lot more subscribers, I will do a giveaway. Uh, so I'll, I'll think about it um, and see. I mean, maybe, because I've got one, two, I got two or three full-size hair products and they're nice. They're like protecting or they're styling products and I can't use them. So it's a shame for me to just let them go to waste and I don't know anyone who wants them. So uh, that might be a future giveaway. <sighs> Okay, so that's um, May's Birch Box. The products were nice. I am incredibly disappointed as I've gone over. I'm not even talking about it again. I'm not. Okay, so remember, you can follow me on Instagram, Gloria Chop one uh, Twitter, Gloria Chop one That does tend to be mostly traffic. Gloria Chop traffic, of course. The, uh, uh, Facebook, that's definitely traffic. Uh, I have my blog, Cheapy Me Shiny. And obviously here, so please subscribe. I need more subscribers. It would be nice if someone would listen to me. Okay, so uh, I do also have, um, I'll be doing a blog post on nail polish uh, this weekend um, because I got one of my, if you're in the nail polish world, I got, it's not a unicorn, it's just a really a, something I've wanted forever. But, well, I guess it used to be a unicorn. It's one of the enchanted polishes and you used to not be able to find it very easily. Um, now, I think I'm gonna order a second bottle because it's just as wonderful as I thought it would be. I'm so happy. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, remember, click the little subscribe button, please, pretty please, with sugar on top. I'd love to have some more uh, subscribers. And of course, uh, I am doing my best to give you regular content. Yay! Love you. Firmly worded note.